Another day, another event in the world of Boom Beach. Today is the brand new Imitation Games, which came out, I think, in November last year. So, not all that long ago, even after the last Mega Crab. So, that's how long we've been waiting for Mega Crab. As you can see, I have maxed out my gold. I've got way too much with two of my builders working hard. But one of them is away at the moment. So, we need as much resources as we can. Thankfully, it is Imitation Day today. So let's go have a look at the imitation games, the first couple of attacks. Now the very first few, I think four attacks, I try not to use any of my actual warriors. And I try to take down the headquarters with just my gunboat energy. I find it a lot more fun that way. A bit more of a challenge. Over here, I guess I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I'm surprised it took me that long. I went for the sniper tower and that little hut over there because they were right next to each other. But then I had more than enough gun by energy or yeah gun by energy to artillery pretty much anything around the headquarters show off a little bit with a smoke on the headquarters but it's not like there's anyone to actually watch that I'm not an enemy at least or a real person but for the video we'll say so over here we do pretty much exactly the same thing there's four of these houses which unfortunately aren't all aligned together but over here these uh, let's see the wood storages and the iron storages as well as the stone storages they're all clumped up together so it definitely makes life a lot easier but instead i opted to go ahead and destroy all of the defenses around the headquarters and just get my critters right into it and we did that pretty easily not much of a challenge there either either the critters definitely make life a lot easier and it also makes it much more fun as well because i do definitely like taking on play bases trying to take them down with just gunboat energy especially the critters so over here i do pretty much exactly the same thing on this stage though they've got four these four the cannons and the machine gun and the flamethrower are all very close together so what i do is i send in a barrage i'm pretty sure also send in some critters just to there we go there's that barrage unfortunately i don't get one of the machine guns but I just wait for my critters to do their work they take a bit long but i do get impatient so we managed to get some critters onto the headquarters just to speed things up a little bit all right so that was stage three now stage four is when i start using my critters oh my warriors sorry i was tempted to very very tempted to actually use my critters just for this but i'd have to take out the rocket launchers first off and then the mortar I could probably, actually both these mortars, but I could probably leave the boom cannons and the sniper towers there uh, because they can only, obviously only kill one critter each shot. So with your critters, you definitely need to watch out for the splash damage. So I get onto the iron storage, then onto the mortar, and then onto the headquarters, and it's pretty simple from there on in. I try to uh, stop any of the cannons from getting their shots off. I actually didn't need to send in that last shock over here as well because that cannon was not targeting my warriors, thankfully. But as long as you get the cannons, you're all good. So that was stage four. No losses there. Stage five, no losses as well. And this is without any boosts. Of course, I've got good attacking statues, but no boosts here. So over here, all I do is clear out this rocket launcher. So I'm able to clear out pretty much the whole back side of the map, quite literally. I, I am surprised. I've seen this layout in very, very many of the imitation games. Send in a barrage as well, right up the front, just to clear out a path for my warriors. And I do start getting a little bit impatient with my critters. Because I do start clearing everything out, and I've got a heck of a lot of gun bear energy. But I just do a mighty good job. It's also one critter getting the iron mine. So over here, I, I, I think I do this pretty smartly, pretty intelligently anyway. I flare my guys, or my warriors, onto the cannon, but I don't destroy it, even though it's got a very, a very tiny amount of health. I left it there for the reason of set, just sending in an artillery later on, so I'm able to get the extra gun bit energy, and I'm able to take a bit more health off the headquarters. As you can see, there's a good quarter off the health. Also go ahead and artillery the shock launcher. Stop all the cannons, especially the hot pot too. 
before they come up. So very easy stage to be honest. So that was stage five, no losses there. Stage six is when we start losing a little bit more. We lost seven worries, but that's still very, very simple. And to me, it actually looks like stage six is a little bit more difficult than stage seven, to be honest. Over here, you never go ahead and put your mines like this because it just makes it too easy to get rid of all of them. You, you might as well just space them out. Uh, because that way, I'm able to just send in an artillery right in the middle and able to clear out all three of the mines instead of just one or two. That's definitely not smart by the guy that uh, set this map up. But over here, get onto the sniper tower. Let's see, which way do I path? Onto the cannon. And then onto the next cannon, and then onto the headquarters, is even before they pretty much get onto that cannon. So we'll do that pretty quickly. So I did four, no, three, sorry, shocks. Mainly on the grappler and the cannons as well. Then again, the grappler and against worries isn't all that powerful, because it can only, of course, get one at a time. So that's not a worry there as well. All right, so... We're on to stage seven now, which is going to be our live attack. We haven't failed a single attack, of course, as well. Very simple stuff. All right. So all we've got to worry about is the damage amplifier and what it's got around. It does have a shock launcher within range. And of course, there's two rocket launchers there, at least, I can see. And there is one more shock launcher right here. So headquarters has... 180 plus 77,000 health should be fairly simple to be honest with you guys All right, so what I'm gonna do is I will send in a bunch of my critters Right in over here They do a very good job Now we get onto the flamethrower. I will also clear out a bit of a path for my warriors We'll go into the shock launcher actually. Okay, and now it's pretty simple just getting onto the headquarters. I'll throw down a health. I didn't want too many of my warriors being out in the open for that flamethrower to pick us off. Throw another heal down because I can. There goes the grapple up, pulling my guys in, but that was a very, very simple stage. Really not much of a strategy with the warriors just running up, up to it and then pounding away, literally. So that was fairly simple. And there we go, five warriors have perished. Get a lot of uh, good stuff with our boosts as well. All right, so that was that on the 20th of January. Donald J. Trump's inauguration as the next... American president, which actually do live in the future in Australia, so it'll actually be tomorrow. But until next time, though, guys, I will see you later and hopefully you will enjoy.